What we're going to do now is hook up what we call a three-way switch. Okay, and it's not actually a three-way switch, it is a pair of three-way switches. Because what a three-way switch is, is a device that we use so that we can control a light or a group of lights using two switches. Okay, so I've drawn a couple of pictures here to give you examples of where this might be used. So here's a long hallway, maybe not so long, it only has one light in the middle of it. But you want to be able to turn that light on from either end of the hall. Okay, and so we have two switches, two three-way switches at either end of the hall, either of which can control that light, turn it on or turn it off. Okay, another example is a stairway. Okay, we've got one light here that lights up the whole stairs, but you want to be able to turn that light on whether you're at the top of the stairs or at the bottom of the stairs. Okay, so a couple of, of ways or examples where we would want to utilize a three-way switch. Okay, so we're going to talk about the exact way we hook it up. Uh, in additional videos, this video is going to be just about the theory. Okay, let's try and understand the circuit. Okay, so first I want to say that uh, we've already talked about the fact that we need to switch the, the feed or the hot wire and not the neutral. Okay, so I'm actually going to just ignore the neutral for the purpose of this, um, this circuit. Okay, we're just going to look at the feed. All right, so we're going to start at the beginning. Here's our AC power supply. Okay. And the AC power supply provides AC power. Okay, here's line one coming into the first switch. Okay, now the first thing we need to understand is how a three-way switch works. So we've looked at the regular toggle switches that we've used so far, and it's got two posts on it, right? We have a line side and a load side. The power comes in, and if you close the switch, then the power carries on out. Okay, the three-way switch actually has three terminals, okay? And one is referred to as the common, and it is common to the other two terminals. Okay, so I'm gonna show this as the common being the input. So we're gonna take our constant power and we're going to attach it to our common. Okay, and then there are two possible outputs for this three way switch. And I'll put them there and there. Now the switch has to be in one or one of the two positions, right? Flip the switch up or down. And so the lever may close that contact right there, or if you flip the switch, it swings over and it makes contact there. And that's the reason we call this the common, because it's common to both of these contacts. And it closes one contact or it closes the other contact depending on the position of the switch. Okay? So this is the input, this is this is our black wire, and, and we're gonna follow the current. Okay, so of course when the circuit is open, when the light is off, there is actually no current flow, but we're gonna follow it as far as it'll take us, okay, until we hit a dead end. All right, so there's current flowing there, and it gets to here and it stops. Okay, so sorry, there's no current flowing, but we'll try not to get too technical here. We're gonna move on. Okay, we're gonna have two wires connected here though, right? So we're gonna have a wire connected here, Okay, and it's gonna go somewhere. And I'll choose a different color. We're gonna have a wire connected here. And it's gonna go somewhere. Okay? Now, I told you that three-way switches come in pairs. So here's where the second one comes in. All right? The second one, we're gonna turn it around. Okay, so we, the common here, I call it the input. All right, the common is, is the line side of this switch. Okay, the second three-way switch, however, when we pair these up, is going to get turned around so that these two other terminals become the line side. And so this black, sorry, this red wire and this blue wire are going to connect to those two. And then the common is going to be on the load side of this switch. So let's assume that that is currently in this position, but if we toggle the switch, we understand that it ends up down there closing that contact. Connected to this common is an output wire, and that gets connected to our load. There's our light. Okay, so if we follow the logic through, if we follow the path, I did this in black, maybe I don't want to. Okay, let's, here's the current coming in goes through there, and 
these two wires have a special name. Okay, we call them travelers. Okay, so the current is going to travel down one wire or the other. Okay, so in this case, we have current traveling down the red traveler. Okay, it also travels through this second three-way switch because this is the current position that it's in and this circuit is closed and that light is on. Okay, now if we toggle this switch, okay, so that contact now opens and this one closes. Okay, this current goes away. The light turns off, okay, because the current is now traveling down the other traveler. Except there's no current traveling at all because it finds nowhere to go when it gets to there. Okay, so now that's why the light is off. So now the question is, how do I turn the light back on again? And there are two options. I could hit this switch again and we could return to our original scenario, okay, feeding the light through our red traveler. Or if I've now gone to the other end of the hall and I want to turn the light off because it's time to go to bed, I hit the other switch at the other end of the hall. Oh no, I'm turning the light back on. So I guess I gotta get up in the middle of the night or something. Turn the light back on, here we go. So we already had current here in the blue traveler. Now we have a complete circuit there and the light comes back on. Okay, so this is how we toggle back and forth uh, between the two travelers. And it's how no matter what the situation is, toggling either switch will reverse the situation. Okay, so whichever traveler we've got that's being used or not being used, we, uh, we turn the light on or off. We change the condition of the light every time through, we've got four possible combinations, right? So we started out there, we went there, then we went there, okay, now we can go there, and then we're back to where we started, okay? So we can toggle the two switches back and forth, and we can test all the different possible combinations.